Hey, Allison Shepard here again, and I'm showing you phase two of the landscape that I've been working on here in Rothsey Butte, Scotland. It was a, a gorgeous scene of the sun reflecting on the ocean. Actually, I think it was close to Ettrick Bay, um, and it was a lucky shot that I got from the car window as we were driving by, believe it or not. So, um, I actually covered the entire canvas. This is a, a, a board here that I, I bought in uh, Glasgow that's covered with a canvas-like texture. Um, it's gessoed, pre-gessoed. Um, and I've actually, after I've done the drawing, I covered the entire panel with burnt umber. And it's all been more or less, um, actually the top was, was more or less a mid-tone that looked like this. The bottom was a mid-tone that looked more or less like this. So what I did was I worked, I'm right-handed, so I worked left to right and up to, to down, sort of diagonally across the whole thing. Um, and that just made sense for me because, so I wouldn't like drag my hand, you know, through the painting. So what I did was after I covered it with the top with the paint, as I came in with some paper towels, some rags, and I came in with a stiffer hog hair brush. I came in with some synthetic filbert brushes. And I just began to pull away the paint. Almost like if uh, you're a printmaker and you've ever done a monotype. Almost like doing a monotype where you're actually thinking in terms of pulling out your lights. So that the raw um, panel, the gesso panel, creates your highlights. And then I did the same with the bottom. Uh, a little bit darker of a mid-tone that I worked in and then I started to pull out the highlights and now what I'll do at this point is I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll come back in and I'll start to work in some of my darker mid-tones and my darkest shadows and then I'll have a full range of the value scale worked out before I get into color so uh, we'll see you soon with phase three